Let's do one more 3D modeling flower mixer. Here we will create this wire mesh with the help of helix and spiral tool. Also we will use 3D sketch to create this one. And we will learn how to use indent feature which is mainly used to remove material from one model with the help of other model. First let's create a sketch for a mixer wire. So I am going to activate top plane sketch. Now let me activate here circle. Let me draw here one big circle and two one small circle. Now select both the circle, circle and line and apply mirror entity. See this is going to mirror. Now I am going to do one more thing just expand extend this line and draw one corner rectangle okay right click select now I want to place this rectangle at the center of this line so select these three lines and apply here symmetric relation okay A smart dimension now let's apply our dimension diameter 72 now this diameter 20 okay now distance from here to here 18 fine then distance to origin point or center point of circle 7 millimeter it's fine make this length 20 millimeter depth of this rectangle only 3 millimeter Okay, now distance between this, hold shift key, select this one and select the circle. See distance going to top surface 10 millimeter. Now this is reference plane, we will use all one by one. So just simply exit. Now I am going to again activate top plane, sketch, isometric view. Now this time I am going to use this outer circle. So we are in another sketch so simply select outer circle convert entity okay go to feature apply helix and spiral now here I am going to choose pitch and revolution constant size now pitch how much 2.5 revolution 0.85 angle 0 clockwise reverse Now, okay, angle here is uh, 138 millimeter. Look, this is go uh, these wire going downward side. You will see here 2.3 mm downward side. We start from here, angle 138 degree. Okay, see one spiral created. Now again, I am going to apply top plane sketch now select this time this circle right side convert entity again go to helix spiral and helix now same pitch constant pitch and revolution constant pitch pitch 2.5 now here revolution 1 let me see but uncheck make it fine and angle 90 degree see 2.5 one revolution means height 2.5 you will see here perfect now again go to top plane sketch now this time I am going to select this third circle, right, left side circle, convert entities, go to feature, apply helix and spiral, same pitch and revolution, pitch 2.5, revolution 1, start angle only change 270 degree. Now see this is going to upper side, fine and this is lower side, okay. Now I am going to enter in 3D sketch. 
for 3d sketch let me do one thing go to sketch 3d sketch now let me select these two lines convert entities fine now previous sketch hide okay now this is what we have now select this all helix curve all three curve convert entities see now apply spline now look this end to this end connect right click exit okay again spline now this end going to connect the second small circle top point see here right click select again spline okay now this end point see here end point to this point again is spline see this point to this point okay now create relation tangent relation select this tangent c point tangent apply tangent at all points later we will apply some now there is a drag handle now this handle length or also we will apply apply smart dimension now see this drag handle length 20 similarly the second handle 20 this is 30 50 okay comes here the upper side make it 50 the lower side make it 100 similarly here also the upper side 50 millimeter and the lower handle length 100 millimeter now let me select see from top face now look it's perfectly aligned and perfectly simply exit and go to feature apply swift boss base feature now here's apply uh, circular profile diameter 2.5 see let's say okay now select this all three right click and hide is all spiral now see even let me see section view let's make it closer see okay see the wire is not going to mesh it's perfectly align each other okay it's time to make some handle for this okay let me apply some material look polished steel okay now i am going to apply here front plane A sketch let's make handle handle diameter 30 20 millimeter okay but handle we uh, we will apply apply at certain distance extruded boss base because i want to add material but here start we will choose offset 130 millimeter but make it reverse see this is going to start 130 millimeter away from front plane see now how much the length length direction is perfect 85 unmerge result because we need to do some more operations okay if you unmerge it will show you two body see now there is one feature called indent feature simply go to insert feature indent feature now with the help of indent feature you can remove material in one body from another body let's remove material let's make hole this pipe rod hole so target body this one 
Now body to region, select this one. And here select cut. Okay. If right click and isolate section view. Okay. See how we make a hole for those road. See this is perfectly even shape this side. This is why we use indent feature. Simply exit isolate uncheck okay fillet let's make corner fillet how much two millimeter select the face so it will select both age constant type say yes now for this handle we need to make one carry handle again let me choose top plane sketch Okay, let's apply some center rectangle. Apply here. Apply one line from midpoint to midpoint of this. And select this center line vertical. Again choose circle. Let me apply half circle. A smart dimension now distance from center to upper ten millimeter and total length twenty millimeter and also this diameter ten. Okay, now let me choose here trim entity power trim and here activate keep trim entity as construction line so whatever line i am going to trim it it is going to convert into construction line just press and hold left mouse and drag see here also here also okay we lost some relation i don't know what relation maybe this relation select this point to this point okay now go to feature apply swift to boss base feature now here apply 1.5 see uncheck merge result okay because we use indent feature to create path inside this again go to insert features indent feature now target body this one i want to remove material from this body keep selection uh, we don't need this body tool body region select this one apply cut even you can apply here parameters but let's keep as it is right click isolate section view okay see material remove on both side now there is a hollow shapes exit okay i think we're done let's write some name on this top plane sketch let me draw two lines midpoint to midpoint again one more construction line because i want to draw some make sure these line vertical both line vertical okay our text height is 5 millimeter so 2.5 is here apply text now curve or line i'm going to select this line now right here what you this is a kind of a mixer right floor mixer look now here comes here apply center align now at bottom okay this is perfect uncheck use document font apply 5 millimeter that's it floor mixer even you can change font from here 
let's say Arial. Okay, see this is Arial. Okay, now go to feature, exit and simply choose wrap feature, isometric view. Now, here I am going to choose deboss. I want to engrave this one. Here choose wrap method. I am going to choose analytical surface. Select this surface. Now you will see the preview. Now depth 0.2. Okay. And here see. If I am going to select this. Color change. Okay. See. Don't forget to share, like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.